Knuckle Up TV. I'm with light middleweight Billy Bird. How are we doing, sir? Not too bad, mate, yourself? Yeah, not too bad. It was lovely seeing you for the first time today. Yeah, definitely. At the uh, Tommy Darvin press conference, huge fight in 17th of July, July. yeah. Um, how are we looking? Yeah, looking good, mate. I've just come out from a, a, a good win over uh, some uh, Lithuanian geezer for the International Challenge Belt. Strong fight. Um, I won that. Put him down a few times. Um, he was like, say, so strong kids. So I've stayed in camp since that fight. Uh, I had two days off, and then I was back on, sort of thing. So I'm ready now. Uh, I've been sparring with uh, Nathan Dow for this fight. Um, I'm ready. I'm ready now just to um, start making a big step up. You know, uh, I've got Sam Wall. Um, he's just won the same belt as what I won, so he, he's going to be up for it. Um, Got a decent little record. I'm sure he's been training well, um, and I hope he has been training well because I want the best. Whoever I fight, I want them to be at 100% best because I don't want no excuses if if I beat them or likewise they don't want if they beat me, you know. But I'm ready now. I want after this fight, I'll sit down with the team and uh, we're going to chase either the English eliminator. That's what I want the English title eliminator. Southern area if it's offered, um, but if I bypass that and go straight to the English it doesn't bother me. Um, it's, it's now my time to start calling out. And what do do you want? Right, if you had to pick after after the 17th of July, who would you want? Who's the guy that you want? Who's the main guy that you want to invite? Right there is anyone, you know. Oh. You've got Ben Hall, you know. Ben Hall, he's, yeah. he's a good kid, you know. I, wouldn't, I sparred Ben Hall before. He's yeah, yeah. a strong, very strong kid, Definitely. and I rate Definitely. him a lot. Yeah. You know, he's doing great work with uh, Peter Sims at the moment. Um, but unfortunately, they're in my division, so they're the likes who I want to be going for, you know. They're, there's one fight who I actually want to fight again is uh We'll be back in a bit. He's just lost some of his equipment. <laughs> Train with uh, Billy Bird and uh, basically uh, we've all got to go back to where we come from somehow. Exactly. Somewhere. We're doing it I think, hopefully we're going the right way. We we're are going the right way. We're, this is the train from Stratford. We what, so. what we was talking about, what is your main your main objective is obviously get television dates, isn't it? Definitely, you know, everyone Yeah, that's what you want. Yeah. Everyone wants to get on these big shows, yeah. you know. Now it's good to have the likes of Joshua, Tyson Fury, Billy Joe Saunders, everyone's getting yeah. boxing starting to pick up with having these guys and that's what we need, you know. It's it's too much in this country all about football and look, there's not enough publicity about boxing, it should be. And this, that's why it's a lot harder for, for the likes of the, the small shows to do any good, you know. They need, they need the big publicity, they need the big sponsors, they need the, the television rights, you know. There should be more boxing shown on TV, it's more of a tougher sport, you know. It's an underrated sport for, for the money that we get and for the time that we put in. There's nothing in it, you know. It's, I'm lucky to have the sponsorship that I get, you know. Without all these guys, I wouldn't be able to do the job that I love, yeah. believe that I'm, I'm good at about them and I want to thank all them, you know. Um, but my, my objective now is, you know, I've had, I've had 15 fights, you know, 14 on B and one, one loss and I'm ready now to, to, to take a step up and get on these bigger shows. And obviously you can't do it unless you've got, you've got a good following and I've got a good following behind me, you know. I've sold out my last venue, done 190 tickets and I'm ready to get on the big, big hall shows and start getting these bigger titles, you know. Yeah. I've got two belts at the moment, you know, it, it's stepping stone for me. You know. Being on, being on the small small shows has got me to where I am now, and that's why it's, it's my time. After the 17th of July, it's my time then to start making making a bigger step and a bigger shout. Get, get everyone to know who I am, you know. People don't know who I am yet. And mm. I, haven't, I didn't have a, an amateur record, you know. I didn't have hardly any amateurs, no. none at all, really. Um, okay. I come off the, the, the unlicensed circuit and such, okay. and I've had to start from scratch. But that's that's the way I like it. Um, I've had to build my own career, and that's that's how it's going to carry on. And I'll build my own career until I get to the top. And, and I'll, I've been in, I've sparred really good boys, you know. I go all around, go as far as I can go. I'll train out in Spain, MGMs, all the boys. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's lovely over there, you know. Right. I had the pleasure of working alongside Billy Joe Saunders a couple of times when he was out there training. Um, I sparred like Bradley Saunders out there, and you know. I'm a train over in Norwich with, with Graham River and John Fax. We've got a great little stable, you know, we've got the Welsh pack over there. We've got Sam Sexton, we've got Nathan Dow, who's a brilliant little well weight, you know. There's just big things going to come out of Norwich now and I want to be amongst it and that's why I want the bigger fights. And hopefully my team around me will get that sorted and that's what's going to happen. But it's just a shout out to everyone in my weight division I'm coming, you know. Anyone who's in my way, you know, I just want whoever they put up against me just to train 100% because that's one thing I'll be doing. I'll be training 110% because I will go and I'm going to get in my way. Nothing.
Um, what do you think of, um, coming off topic, talking about a different weight category, Anthony Joshua on the weekend, what do you think of that? That fight. Another easy fight for him, you know. Easy fight for him, yeah. I thought as the later rounds come on, he was struggling a bit, Joshua. Yeah. And I've always said from day one, um, you can't knock Joshua for what he's doing, you know. He's in the public eye, he's selling himself great, you know, the public love him, and he probably is a generally nice guy, but I think he's not in the he's not in the league. It feels like he's getting more recognition than what Tyson Fury's getting. Yeah, you know, Tyson Fury has gone over to Germany, I've said this in previous interviews, he's gone over to Germany, beat someone on their home turf in Germany. Now, everyone knows, you go to Germany, you win. The only way you win is by a knockout. You know, when Tyson Fury didn't knock Klitschko out, he beat him on points, and for him to get the decision like that, he should he should be king, king of his country at the moment. They should be talking about him, the hype should be on, John, uh, on um, Fury, not... Oh, like, yeah, Joshua's doing well, but he's won the belt that Tyson Fury had, which they stripped him, which they knew full well, he couldn't defend it in that time. Um, and it feels like he's not got enough recognition, and when he's come out and say he's going to retire, I, I wouldn't blame him, because what's the point of doing so well at something and not getting the praise, you know? You only get praise if you do things good, and that man, he's done something more than good, you know? He, he's gone over and beat their, their king, you know? He's gone over and beat their king with his bare hands, and that's what he's done, and it, people should be talking about him. He should be on... He should be doing it on Skype. There's a bit of politics involved on the way up. And hopefully, hopefully, like I say, some good. It's there's three good fights to be made in that heavyweight division. You know, you, I wouldn't mind seeing Joshua David Hay. You know, it's you fights that, like that. Who do you think would win out of them two then? If they ever got in the ring. <laughs> well, at the moment, yeah. I think. I think David A because of the more yeah. experience yeah. and I do I generally think Joshua does struggle in later rounds and I just believe any opponent that he's had so far, they've all come forward and walked onto his shots. How will Joshua do with someone who can hit as fast as him? Someone who can box? You dunno. Um, it's it's just I wouldn't want to call it at the moment, but it's a tough one. it is a tough one. Uh, you've got Dental Wilder, you know. Mm, Deontay Wilder, well. Exactly, you know. He's quite wild, isn't he? Very exactly. Wild. Tough, you know, why, don't, yeah. why don't they offer that fight? Yeah. Why don't they yeah. give some big names? Why don't Eddie Hearn give him some what big names? What do you think names? of uh, Luis Ortiz, the Cuban? Yeah, he's. Yeah. You see, there again, it, they haven't been mentioning them names, have they? You know, they've a lot of fighters who they've been calling out, not really bigger names that you really hear of much, do you? You no. know, so it's, we know the big name, everyone knows David A, so why, why not match out? Everyone knows Tyson Fury, why not match out? Why not Dylan White? You know, you know, Dylan White, same again, hopefully he fights Sam Sexton. You know, he was on about fighting Dave Allen, but mm. why not Why not Sam Sexton? You know, mm. He's, mm. he deserves a shot, you know. He's, yeah. Trust me, I think that'll be an upset as well. An upset mm. fight if it ever happens. Mm -hmm. All right, well, lovely.